Hey guys, I'm Hetty and welcome back to part 16 of the Fan Art Feb series. And in this video I'm drawing, well, painting Amethyst from Steven Universe. I really enjoy trying to draw these cartoon characters in my own art style. Um, it kind of gives me a challenge to see if I can make, because I've only just really realised that I've actually started to get into an art style. So it challenges me to test myself to see if I can make that style work for different body shapes and different characters and I'm quite happy with how this turned out it was a really really awkward pose to draw so this was a big challenge when I was trying to draw it because it's just like some bits just didn't look right and it's like, there's a few things I could pick at like her hand is a little bit too small for my liking but in terms of this is the first time I've drawn this body shape with this sort of pose so to be honest I'm quite proud of myself for being able to it still looks like a person and it still it doesn't look wrong in a way but yeah anyway for today's video I have some questions from Poodle Paws I think yeah Poodle Paws 44 and thank you Poodle Paws for commenting on pretty much every single one of my videos you always leave such really nice comments as well they make me feel so loved and yeah the first question is what's your favorite pizza toppings um ham and pineapple i love the hawaiian pizzas you can get here which is literally just ham and pineapple sometimes it has mushroom on as well but just ham and pineapple with cheese that that's good for me what are your personal art goals for the future um i think i answered this one in a previous one but i don't really have many i would like to get successful well i want to get my art style completely down and be better at drawing men so I suppose that's one thing but in terms of where I want to go with my art I'm still a little undecided because I did want to do children's book illustration and that's what I was studying towards at uni but now I'm more towards concept art and character design but then I'm also leaning a bit more towards fine art which is just kind of creating pieces anyway so I don't have a main goal. I want to go to conventions and be successful at getting a table at those and selling a lot just so then I can literally help support my family with my art. But I suppose that's about it. What's your favourite thing to draw? Women? Um, the female body? Not hands, not feet, just the female body. I like drawing the torso up and I don't mind, well I'm not too bad at drawing legs now so I don't mind doing that. But yeah, the female body, I suppose. What is your favourite thing about being a YouTube artist as compared to just sharing your art on other forms of social media? Um, the connection with people. I mean, it's people like you that's giving me the questions. You don't really get that same connection when you're just doing it through normal social media. It's literally, it's, I don't know, it's more impersonal, if you get what I mean. And on here, even though it's still talking through a comment, I can respond to you through my voice and I know you can sort of do that on other social media but it's just not the same the following you get and the connections you make with people like the friends you make as well they tend to be better through YouTube I've found because any art friends well I haven't made any art friends through other social media really I've made one but that's it and she's lovely that's Liz I think yeah on twitter anyway but on youtube i've i've made loads of friends already and they actually do feel like friends and it's a lot easier to keep in touch with them and work with them and it's i don't know i just prefer it it's a lot nicer to get a connection with people what's the hardest thing about being a youtuber uh finding time to do the videos and the editing because I've got a child so it makes it even harder to find that time but I suppose that's it and getting over being shy to talk I really want to start doing vlogs but I'm kind of camera shy and it takes me uh, if I do the face to camera videos for my channel now it takes me like two to five takes of babbling and being nervous and yeah so I suppose it's the nerves and finding time what inspires you to create art everything well that's kind of vague um my emotions on the day can help towards it if i'm angry then i tend to draw darker 
things or more sad poses or people sometimes anyway but then I can watch a film and I'll be really influenced by that and I want to do something that's kind of associated to that or that sort of thing or just day-to-day life I'll walk through town and just go in a shop and I'll just see like a relationship taking place in front of me like someone a woman could just be talking to her partner and then I'm like wow then I just get an idea for a painting or a picture I'm like oh okay so inspiration kind of hits me at random times normally either when I'm in bed or when I'm walking and have nothing to write it down and then I tend to forget what it is eventually it'll come back most of the time but not all the time though I did when I used to live with my mum um, there was always this bridge that I walked across um, on the way back home from work or from college and every single time I walked across that bridge I would get an idea for a story or a picture and by the time I got home or to work or college I'd have scribbles on my arm because I didn't have any paper but I always had a pen in my pocket of my ideas that I'd come up with so that didn't look great when I got to work because I had to scrub my arm so most of the time I tried to save that for the walk home but yeah by the time I got home it looked like I'd just been a crazy person and I'd literally write from my knuckles on my hand all the way up to my elbow all the way around my arm and yeah that was that was fun I missed that bridge that was a very inspiring bridge (laughs) I don't walk across it anymore because I don't live that way but sometimes when I do I still get ideas because my family still live up that way so occasionally when I walk up there it's not very often I walk there anymore I still get the same ideas but yeah um yeah, I've got time for one more quick question. Uh, do you have any other hobbies outside of art? At the minute, not really. I've been trying knitting and crochet, and I used to read a lot, like to the point where I'd ignore people because I thought I'd answered them, but I didn't. I was actually just reading anyway. But no, at the minute, I don't really, unless you count cooking, because I always cook for my family and I love cooking, so I guess that would be one. But yeah, uh, I'll get to the rest of your questions in the next video, but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the picture in the video and my answers to the questions but please like and subscribe and i will see you tomorrow in the next video bye